Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries March 14, 2023. You're discovering needs or wants you previously didn't acknowledge. People are attracted to your unique perspective, and you might provide some unique guidance to others. Open and honest conversations can be in focus today. Learning endeavors bring you joy, and news from a love interest could be pleasantly unexpected. Channels for communication can open up, through updated technology, for example, as you discover new, improved, or especially interesting ways to make connections. Alternatively, you can be filled with a desire to express your talents, artistic abilities, or even your feelings for someone. Fun, passion, pleasure, and games are calling your name. The stars are linking in a very festive dance. Mental Mercury, the planet of the mind and communication, has been dancing through the heavens and will send love notes via a sextal over to Electric Uranus, the planet of revolution and surprise, now transforming your solar house of true love and romance. This guarantees that a sudden surprise in love and romance is right around the corner. If single, do not miss this time to meet new people or download a dating app. There is so much to do in so little time. You may feel like you have more energy than usual, which will be good since there are so many tasks that you have to get through today when Venus in Aries sextals Mars in Gemini. Being booked and busy is a blessing. However, you may feel like your work and life balance is a little spread out since you may have personal and professional objectives to complete by the end of today. Luckily, you have the tenacity to get through anything with a smile on your face. This time last weekend Saturn was in the final days of a nearly three-year visit to your income sector and the moon had come full circle from last month's full moon in your financial sector. A week on and for the first time since 2020 there is no cosmic activity in either of your two money houses and with it a chance to keep your money hat off over the weekend. With the moon returning to your income sector later next week and Pluto just 12 days away, this is a temporary break and a valuable chance to step back. Today could bring attention to the throat area, which can be especially sensitive under the current transit. There are several homeopathic treatments which aid an infected throat, astragalus, echinacea, gargling salt mixed into warm water, and putting fresh lemon on your food. A hurt throat sends a message to your body not to speak. This leads to internalization of emotions and can cause mental distress. Try to purify your lymphatic system with respect to this condition. Creativity, focus, organization, and energy will all be yours today. It's a day, rich in your natural abilities to get groups working and moving together. Days like this don't come along often, so take advantage of the opportunity to accomplish all those jobs that you've needed to get everyone working together on. At the end of the day you'll probably still have energy left over, so reward yourself for having such a productive day by spending some quality time with your family. All of the day's effects apply just as much to the home as they do to business. Thanks to the moon's departure from your career sector yesterday and its first visit to Mars in your work sector before leaving, your professional instincts are sharp but there is a download of information to unpack. Before not only stepping into the new working week but into Mars last full week in your work sector and the Dwarf Planet series last in your career sector, even the professional gods are asking that you embrace the weekend spirit. Your subconscious has downloaded more information than you could process at the time, with time out allowing this to happen naturally. Just five days before Venus, the planet of love is due to return to your romantic sector and to begin what can be the most romantically charged days of any year, the asteroid Juno returns for her first visit in four years. As the queen of commitment, Juno will help prepare for your luckiest year for love in over a decade, now just two months away. Over the coming weeks this will give you the resolve and confidence to follow your heart. Our eyes in the sky. As you navigate through the challenges and difficulties in your life, it's important to remember that these struggles are a natural part of your growth and development. By staying present and aware of your inner energy, you can learn valuable lessons, especially when it comes to your psychological well-being. 
Your childhood experiences have left deep imprints on your psyche, and now is the time for these imprints to be purged and cleansed away. This process of healing can be truly transformative, but it requires you to let go of rigid ideas about how your life should be structured and to accept your current circumstances with open-mindedness and grace. As you continue on your journey, remember that the growth and healing that you're experiencing are all part of a larger process. Embrace the challenges that come your way, and stay open to the lessons that they can teach you. By doing so, you'll emerge from these struggles stronger, wiser, and more resilient than ever before. As the morning dawns, Vesta and Chiron converge in fiery Aries, triggering intense feelings of shame and inadequacy. Despite our best efforts and wholehearted dedication, we can't shake off the sense that we are not measuring up. It's as though our energy and hard work are being swallowed by a black hole, and we may even find ourselves engaging in self-destructive behavior. It's important to understand that Chiron transits are deeply rooted in our psyche and can have a profound impact on our emotional well-being. We may feel as though we are being judged or looked down upon by others, but in reality, this is often far from the truth. In fact, those around us may hold us in high regard and deeply respect us, while we are busy berating ourselves for falling short of our own impossibly high standards. It's crucial to step back and view ourselves through a lens of objectivity, free from self-judgment and criticism. Why are we so self-critical? What is driving these feelings of inadequacy and shame? By examining ourselves with compassion and curiosity, we can begin to identify the root causes of our negative self-talk and work towards healing and self-acceptance. Remember, you are not alone in your struggles, and seeking support from trusted loved ones or a mental health professional can provide valuable insights and tools for overcoming these challenges. Embrace this moment as an opportunity for growth and transformation, and have faith in your ability to rise above your struggles with grace and resilience. As the sun rises, Vesta and Jupiter converge in Aries, driving us to overcompensate for our perceived shortcomings. These powerful Vesta aspects come on the heels of yesterday's Jupiter-Chiron conjunction, which may have left us feeling emotionally raw and in need of self-compassion. Despite this need for self-care, we may find ourselves frantically throwing everything we have at the wall to see what sticks. In these moments, it can be helpful to embrace our connection to something larger than ourselves, whether that be a spiritual practice or a commitment to making a positive impact on others. Consider incorporating a spiritual or philosophical idea into your personal mission statement, reminding yourself of the power you hold to effect change in the world around you. The universe is calling upon us to shift our focus away from our own perceived limitations and towards the ways in which we can contribute to the greater good. Remember that you are not alone in your struggles, and that self-compassion and kindness towards yourself are essential for your own healing process. Take time to reflect on your values and priorities, and allow yourself to be guided by the light of your own inner wisdom. With patience and persistence, you can overcome these challenges and emerge stronger and more resilient than ever before.